Hi there, my name is Bessa Farian. I'm a pelvic health physiotherapist at Proactive, and today I'm going to be talking to you about pelvic floor therapy for the neurologic uh, population. So we often treat a lot of patients who are dealing with things like multiple sclerosis, Parkinson's, um, ALS, spinal cord injury, and stroke. And what we look at is um, a couple different things, but we focus on behavioral modifications, lifestyle changes, as well as pelvic floor um, techniques and treatment. So I'm just gonna summarize a couple of things that your therapist might look at with you. So these things can uh, include things like bladder diaries and bowel diaries as a good starting point to get an idea of what your normal or what your baseline looks like. Um, timed avoiding schedules are really helpful um, for people who have a neurogenic bladder um, because often those sensations aren't um, quite accurate in terms of when things are full and not full. So a time avoiding schedule can be very helpful. For example, emptying your bladder routinely every two hours rather than relying on the sensation. Um, some other techniques for bladder might include emptying strategies. So um, a neurogenic bladder might have a really hard time with actually activating and actually creating um, enough of a contraction in the detrusor muscle to empty the bladder. So we go over techniques like positioning, um, breath work, relaxation, as well as some triggers that might help the bladder to empty, such as putting the fingers in warm water, using vibration on the bladder, etc. When it comes to bowels, we really focus on helping stimulate the bowels to move as routinely as possible. So this, um, what we look at for this is lifestyle and diet. So we really wanna make sure that people are getting enough water as well as enough fiber. And that's really important to keep things moving. Um, the other thing that's really helpful is keeping up with the routine with your bowels. So trying to wake up at a similar time every morning and um, having a small breakfast within 30 minutes of waking. We might also teach them about abdominal massage, which is a helpful strategy to do um, 30 minutes after your meal. And that can really help stimulate to get things moving for constipation. And lastly, we might also um, suggest electrical muscle stimulation over top of the abdomen to help with constipation as well. So these are just a few examples of specific treatment styles or treatment techniques that we might um, recommend and work on with patients who have neurologic dysfunction.